Well, hello and welcome back to Pancake Survival. My name is Ari Casper. And I've done a little bit since the last episode. I did some resource gathering. So basically, uh, I planted a lot of trees and harvested those trees. And you can see I have... Oh, I do have a bed now. Managed to kill enough spiders to gather the string that I needed to to make the wool to make a bed. So I have that, and I have a lot of wood now, and a bunch of saplings. By the way, I still don't have cobblestone. Yeah, I was doing I was doing stuff just to gather resources. You can see I have some bones, some arrows. Spider eyes and string. Oh, pumpkins. Yeah, I had. I went to the nether and got that pumpkin that was in the chest. Turned it into seeds. And then planted them here. So the first four here are pumpkin stalks. I've been harvesting them. Getting melons as well. Couple uh, creeper accidents, as you can see. A few craters. And I also moved my uh, cocoa bean farm out here to the uh, just outside on this on this thing, whatever this is. And this is the last tree here. I thought I'd just show you how I harvest a giant jungle tree. So basically I, I just uh, carve a, a spiral stairway into it as I as I climb I cut the wood till I get to the top Ooh. And then once I'm on the top, I kind of stand right in the middle. And just take down the last... the last bits like this. Yep, there is one in there. I think that was the last one. Cut, turn, cut, turn, etc. So yeah, I was gathering resources, putting up a bunch of trees and chopping them, chopping them down. But I was very careful not to progress any further in the game because I wanted to get that on on video. Let's take a nap. Okay, I figured what I do now is look at the the book with the challenges. I haven't done this in a while, so let's uh, let's see what we did. Secure your spawn area from mobs. I really have not done that yet. I think I need to build a fence or something. So I'm going to do that. Uh, go to the Nether. I did. I did go to the Nether. Oh, I have to do these in order can't click up here okay so I guess that's next on the list build a village build 16 jack-o-lanterns for that I need torches I still don't have torches uh, cake or pie a bow I do have one bow which was a drop from uh, from a skeleton. So let's let's do that. Plus, I I can easily make a bow right now. I have plenty of string and wood. I don't have sixty four arrows yet. Okay. Tree farms. Those are easy to do. But I haven't uh, set up a, like a permanent tree farm yet. Brown mushroom. Red mushroom. Yep. 
So. Really haven't done all that much, have I? Ten episodes in and I'm still... Still chopping trees down. I was thinking the next thing I would do is map out the biomes. Because I know that there are four biomes around the uh, the lava block, which is the center of the map. Now, if you hit the F3 key, and if you look on the uh, left of your screen, sort of towards the middle, it'll say biome and then swampland. So right now I'm in the swamp. If I go over here, then I'm in the Taiga biome, which is the snowy tree type biome. If I go over here, I'm in the jungle. If I go to this part, this is the mushroom island. So I think what I'm going to do is map out the um, those areas. Like right now I'm in the jungle, but if I go far enough, I'm in the plains. And I think outside of those four areas is all plains biome. So what I'm going to do, like, where does it turn? Right here. Okay, so this block is jungle. This block is plain. So I'm going to do this. Put down some slabs all around the each biome and try to collect the dirt. So right here. I'm in plains. Here I'm in plains. But this is jungle, so... Do that, and this should be jungle. So I think I'll do that, and I'll just... Uh, I'm not sure if they're square-shaped or if they're jagged on the edges, but I'll find out. And I'm going to just map out each of the biomes. Okay, I'll do that, and I'll uh, see you when it's done. Okay, I've got most of it done, except for, see, part of it will intersect with this, the Tomb of the Living Villager. Right here, this is jungle, and it's sort of a circular pattern, which I didn't expect, but here's Ta Taiga. Over here is the swamp, and over here is the mushroom. I thought they'd be rectangular, but I guess not. They're all... It's like a big circle around the block of lava. And once I get my grass block and it starts to gr the grass starts to grow, you'll be able to see the, um, the different biomes a lot easier. But, uh, yeah, so... I was thinking about getting that grass block because to get to get the grass block I need to get the um, the silk touch wooden shovel that this villager has as a trade to get to trade that I need to get um, an emerald how do I get an emerald well there might be an emerald hidden somewhere in the nether but I think it's more likely that I have to um, start breeding villagers and then find something that I can trade with a villager to get an emerald and then trade that emerald with the original villager to get um, to get that shovel. So it's going to be quite uh, quite a long process. So to, let's see, to breed a villa, to, uh, first I need to capture a zombie villager. I need to feed it a golden apple. And actually, I think I have enough gold. I was, uh, I was killing, uh, 
zombie pigmen in the nether, too, as part of my resource gathering, so... I do have enough gold nuggets here to make a golden apple. Oh, oh. I guess I need gold ingots to make a golden apple. Well, crap. So I need to... <laughs> I need quite a few more pigmen. I have to... I have to do a lot more fighting of the pigmen. I need eight of these to make one golden apple. So that's going to be quite a project. Then, once I get a golden apple... Let's see, to heal a zombie villager, you need, you need to use a splash potion of weakness. So I need to collect everything I need to... Well, first of all, I need cobblestone. To make a brewing, a brewing stand, I need cobblestone, and I haven't seen cobblestone yet. Now, I know if I can get water, I can use water and this block of lava to make a cobblestone generator. And there is water in the net in the nether, but I don't have any way of picking it up. I don't have a bucket. But to get a bucket, I need to get a village going and then uh, <laughs> kill some uh, some iron golems and use the iron that drops from them to make the bucket. But I can't make uh, I can't start breeding villagers until I have the cobblestone in the first place. So it's tricky. It's like a big puzzle that I need to figure out. Let me just sleep off this night here. But uh, So I guess the thing is I need to find I need to find some way of getting cobblestone. That's my, my next big challenge, so... Well, let's see, what do I have on me? Anything valuable? I think I'll say goodnight for now. I'm going to go back in the nether and poke around and see if there's some way... Um, I can make cobblestone, and I'll probably... Uh, try killing a few more pigmen just to gather up some more... Um, you know gold nuggets. So I'm going to need a lot of gold nuggets to make that golden apple. Alright. See you guys next time.